Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Brett from Revive Digital. I am here today to show you how you can update your, the homepage of your Joomla website. This is gonna be quite an easy tutorial, so do follow along. If you have any questions, please put them down in the comments and let's get started. What we're gonna be covering in this is, first of all, how you can log into your administration area. What types of home pages can you have? Now Joomla can have a bunch of them, so this can be very confusing. Finding the parts. Now, the way Joomla works is quite different than WordPress, and Joomla does have several parts, including modules, components, and everything else, so, we're gonna show you how you can find them, how you can see the ones that are specifically for your homepage. Front end editing. Now, not all people have this enabled on Joomla. However, if you would like to learn how to front end edit, which should make things so, so much easier for everybody involved, then I'm gonna show you how you can do that. And lastly, I'm gonna show uh, you a little bit of a bonus of how you can actually set and change your homepage. So if you have different homepages that you run per different seasons, this is gonna be how you can do it. All right, so as you can see, we are on our Joomla website. Now this is actually the website that we built in our last tutorial on how, on which um, is better, Joomla or WordPress 6. So you can see that video, it will appear on your screen now, somewhere up in one of the, these corners. So first we're gonna cover how you guys can get to your administration panel. So if you are Joomla, you will have a website like this, and at the top you'll have a web address. Now, as you can see, we've got localhost here, but your one may look like website.com or something like that. So. We will just leave that for now as localhost and what we're gonna do is go localhost slash j5 again. Again, just letting you guys know that this tutorial is for Joomla 5. Now, that does not necessarily mean that you won't be able to follow on if you are working with Joomla 3 or 4. The dashboards between 4 and 5 are very similar, so, well, they're actually identical. And Joomla 3 does run the same sort of dashboard, so you should be fine there as well. So back here, just we want to go administration or administrator. As you can see, just add that to the end of your URL and you should end up in a dashboard login like this. All right, so now we are in the dashboard. So as you can see, that is the first step. It is very easy. All you need to do is go slash administrator and you will be in your dashboard. Now we're gonna look at what the homepage types are. All right, so back here in the dashboard, all you have to do is first of all, we're gonna go to your menu and you're gonna go to your main menu and that's where you're gonna find home. Most websites that start out will not be a single article as you can see down the bottom here. Your home page will always either start out as an archive article, a list category, category blogs, or something like that. So we've always changed them to single articles for the ease of use, and so it's easier for anybody who goes in there to update it because we know exactly where the page is. As you can see here, in the menu types, there are different types. There are articles, contacts, convert form, which is the form that we added when building this, this is just your contact form, but you can have a single page which displays this contact form too. You can also change it to a news feed. This will list a bunch of different things. A smart search, which means you can have the page as a search, a tag page, user page, whatever you're building, you're gonna find one of the options in here. Now, generally what these are, is these are component views. So most pages or most websites will just have single articles and be using these main ones here. If you're using something like EasyBlog or Community Builder or anything like that, you may have more difficulty trying to build or view these pages. But these are the types of pages in Joomla. And these are your default ones. There's only one that we've added, which is convert forms. So once we know that that, we're gonna be able to figure out where our home page is. All right, so now what we want to do is find the parts, because of course you've got your home page. The next part is finding, well, let's say we've got a bunch of parts on there. We want to figure out where they all are. Well, I'm gonna show you that now. 
If you haven't already, you should watch the video that I posted on positions because positions are gonna be one of the most important things to helping you edit your homepage because it's gonna give you the understanding of where things are within your site. I would also look into the tutorial on modules because modules are essentially gonna be one of the building blocks of your site and mainly going to control the parts that you have around so whether you've got forms blog lists or custom content usually it's going to be done in the form of a module all right so back here we can see that we have the home page article selected so if we clear this you can see that this is going to pull through the different articles you can filter them by categories whatever you want and find certain articles so originally we had the home page selected so that's a good indication of the fact that we have that article if we close this down you know that if you go under your content and articles and we'll go into a page here this is going to be your main home page so as you can see you've got the why choose us and a bit of text so if we were to head back here and click on this top thing in the corner open it in a new tab you can see that this text is here great so now we know how to edit our homepage, kind of. As you can see, there is only one part of the homepage in there, which is why it's important that you guys understand how um, positions and modules and everything else work. So coming back here, we're gonna quickly go back into our menu. Now under our every menu, you're gonna have something called modules assigned. These are going to show all of the modules that you technically have enabled on your website now you can hide all of the unassigned and unpublished modules which means these are the modules that are currently in your site you can go to your modules by going content and site modules the next thing we're going to look at is the type so on most sites any type that has custom means that you're likely going to be able to edit it so if we click into some of these modules here, you can see we've got the get in touch, we have the site intro, and we have the site heading. So as you can see, these are three different content blocks. So we are able to match these up based off what we have here. As you can see, this text will match what's in here, main intro block, which again, will, will match up with this, which means you can edit the content in here. Your next one is your get in touch and on top of your footer. Again, you can edit that content here. But then we get to the situation that is these. So how can I edit these articles? If we again go back and look at our modules, you can see that I have a module here called article. If we go inside of it, we're not going to be able to directly edit this. This is because this module doesn't actually work from the module it's a module which pulls a category from the articles so what we can tell by looking at this now is that it has the category service and we're displaying three articles we're showing featured articles and we've got an order and an author that we're doing it by so if you go back here you can go into your articles and you can click on your filtering options and what you can do is change it to services as you can see we have our three articles here so those three articles match the three articles that are on your home page so with those articles you can go in and edit the content now you may not be able to edit all the content and some articles may be split out using a read more now this what a read more does that splits this text into the intro text and this text into full text. The images should be changeable under here. And again, there could be different images here. This is really going to be one of those things where you're actually gonna to have to kind of do a bit of testing, bit of just back and forth to kind of figure it out. Unless you can go into the code to do it and see which parts are being pulled out, it may be easier to just try and see how you go. Just before we go on to the last parts of this tutorial, if you guys are a business or a developer and you are looking for help with Joomla websites, whether that be hosting, server support, ongoing maintenance, everything, please go to Revive Digital 
I will put a QR code up on the screen now. You can scan that on your phone. Don't be shy, come along, say hello, send me an email. Um, comment down below as well if you have any questions or you want me to create more videos to help you enhance your development on Joomla. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel because your subscription helps me a lot and it encourages me to make more videos, which is really great. All right, and lastly, we're gonna just look at the menu on your website. So as we could see here under the site content, we also had a part of it, sorry, I'll hide myself, a part of the website that was a menu that was stuck in the main menu. So again, if you're looking at the homepage of your website, you're gonna have a menu up the top. This is edited through wherever the menu is. So if you click into your main menu, you will see that you have main menu and a selected item. In this case, we don't have a selected item, doesn't necessarily matter, but we're pulling through the main menu. You may have multiple menus here, but majority of the time you should have the main menu in this position or else your template should handle the menu on its own. Now to edit that, you can always just go into your menus and all your menus will be listed here. Click main menu and you have them all there in front of you. Okay, and the last thing, or one of the last things I'm gonna show you is how to enable front end editing. Now this is going to be super handy for those people who want the ability to edit their website but also don't want to have to mess around with the back end and modules and everything so it makes it really easy and a great user friendly alternative for you all right so the first thing that you're going to notice is on our home page we can't edit this even though we're logged into the administration section of the website we still can't edit it so we need to enable front end editing first so in order to do that, you're going to have to create a front-end login for your website. So what we're gonna do here is go add a new menu item called login, and we're gonna select the type user, and it should be login form. And we want this to not be in the menu. So we want to unselect the display and menu and we will click save so this is your alias which means this is going to be your login url so if we refresh the home page you'll see that login hasn't appeared here all right so if you go slash login you will have a login page so you can write your username and your password and click login so now we will be on a profile page now the interesting thing that you're going to notice now is every block is going to have a little edit part on it. So any custom module that you have on your website, again, if we go back to our home page, you're gonna see the little edit. Again, you have an edit. You have an edit on this as well. Edit, edit. Your form surprisingly doesn't, um, but that is fine. Maybe that's not enabled in the settings, but if you want to enable these, you can just click on this and edit these modules on a standalone edit page. And so I can change this to put a two there, save and close, module is saved. So now you can see my edit has appeared there, which should make it a lot easier for people to edit things directly on their website without needing to understand the positions or anything. All right, so if you have stayed up till now, you should have a good understanding of how you can edit the front end of your Joomla website. Now, again, this is only for Joomla 5 that I've been doing this in, and it's only for the default themes. Now, if you are running something like Yo Themes or Gantry, there are slightly different variations of how to do this, especially since Yo Themes is like SP Builder as well. So it's a drag and drop editor, but they, it has their own kind of way of doing it, which could be different than how I'm showing you. I'm showing you the base way to do it. But if you do wanna see those videos on Yo Themes or anything, do leave a comment down below and I'll be happy to help you uh, with those videos in the future. All right, lastly for a bit of bonus content, I am going to show you how you can change your homepage. Now this is going to show you how to essentially select the article that you want in charge of your homepage. Firstly, what we're going to want to do is go under 
our main menu and as you can see here this is all the pages we have in the menu now what we can do in this situation is whatever page has this little icon here is your current home page so this is the same as what wordpress would have with their front page setting under reading with this you can click any page and set that as your new home page so home here should now change to the services page which is an article list of services that will now load on the default url rather than home another thing you can do is under your site template styles as you can see we have two templates here we have a child theme template that i set out when i built this and we have the original now another thing you can do is you can assign these templates to specific pages so we can set in here the home page to run one template which this is assigned to one page now which means our home page will run the default template and then our other pages will run our current template that is an amazingly powerful tool that Joomla has that I don't actually think WordPress has all right before you come in I do realize that WordPress does actually have individual page templates but I'm talking more, more like global theme templates where you can use two themes you can assign multiple templates to multiple different pages which means you can have completely different looks and different functionalities and run multiple websites off one Joomla installation and just assign the pages that's pretty cool so yeah all right guys that does it for this tutorial i hope this has been helpful i hope you gained some value from this again i love making these videos they just take a bit of time to do and i really love the feedback i love all your guys comments that you guys have been leaving in the descriptions it's really good interacting with all you guys and finding out what other people like about joomla wordpress whatever it may be but if you do want to see more videos please comment down below exactly what you want to see subscribe to the channel because i'm almost at a thousand subscribers and that would be unbelievable if i could reach that uh, we are doing a bunch of specifically r search based questions which you're going to see a lot of videos on that everything joom related ai related everything we're going to be trying to do it all when we have time uh, subscribe to the channel you're not going to regret it and i'll see you in the next one cheers